Good morning, everybody. It's 9 a.m. And I figured I would do a video about our day today because yesterday he turned two months old. Today is my very first day to be completely all alone with him. My husband has started his first day of work and he's going to be gone. Let's see. He left at 530 this morning and he won't be back until probably around 9 o'clock. So it's going to be a long day. Our other days won't be that drastic, but I just figured it'd be fun to kind of record what I'm doing and what's new around here and just how I'm kind of dealing with being an alternative lifestyle mom. I don't know what to call our lifestyle. I call it alternative lifestyle. I don't have a name for it because we're not completely off grid, but we're like mostly off grid. Anyway, whatever. We live in the woods. We don't have running water. We have access to a well, so we have our water source outside. Oh. You don't need that. I think it's time for him to eat. Well, I'm going to go feed him again, I think. Yeah, it's starting to get wet. It's going to be a hot day today, so I'm going to fill the tub. I am going to pick some flowers because it's in the morning still. So I've already eaten. I've already nursed him, changed him, done a bunch of things. Just kind of done my normal morning routine. So I do have an agenda today, which is, like I said in my last video, we want to get that studio done. So if I get a break, I'm going to try to put up a few pieces of siding. We started doing the siding the other day, and it's looking really beautiful. If I get a chance, I might do a couple pieces of siding, but if I don't get a chance, then that's fine. I will do other things. So let's, let's start the day. I did get to pick some flowers. I got to pick some dahlias and gladiolas and make a really nice bouquet for our bedroom which is lacking in color because I don't have my paintings up and I just thought some little splash of color would would do us nicely in our room and our, you know my garden is really important to me and I haven't been able to keep it up as well as I would like. I still have tomatoes and flowers and other vegetables and everything and I get in there every once in a while to weed as much as I can but it's not the main priority now to keep it as well weeded as I normally do but we still have it and it's nice and I enjoy it very much. It is a challenge to do things one-handed but our son really likes to be held like a lot and he likes to be held like that. That seems to make him happy. I was able to put him down for a few minutes and he was kicking and you know punching the air and doing his little exercises and learning how his body is working so that was kind of cool I put him in that little tent there that we slept in last year and now it's kind of like a big playpen kind of I do my ab workout in there I did fill up the tub and it's a nice hot day so the Sun warms the water pretty well so by the evening it's nice I also was able to put up one piece of siding by myself and then he started to cry and I knew it was time for him to eat. So we did that and we were nursing for probably about 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. But I went ahead and edited the first portion of this video while we did that. Then he just got into his typical food coma. I, I thought maybe we should go for a walk. So I was thinking get the harness on, put him in the harness when he's good and tired like he is now. I went ahead and changed his diaper then got the harness ready. Going for the walk seemed like a good idea because I could also kill two birds with one stone. I went ahead and got the loppers like the, the brush clippers, I don't know what they call, they're called, and went down to the roadside art and garden stand, started to clip away the blackberry briars that are coming through, because that stand, you know, Julie came up here a couple years ago, and we had it going really nice. We were down there getting cars to come by and buy our stuff, and well, we didn't really get many people to pull over, but we did get some per some buyers, and it's just sad to me that it's getting all grown over. I'd like to bring it back hopefully next year. And I got a walk in too, so that was good. 
When I, we got back to the cabin, I decided to pull his bassinet out into the tent just in case he wanted to take a nap and I could get him off of my, out of the harness. But that did not happen that day. He ended up crashing in the harness and I didn't want to move him. I was getting something to eat. I was getting my peanut butter on my, my celery there. And I realized I could probably get some cooking done. So I decided to get some prep work done for our meals this next coming week. So I just got a little bit done, got, got um, some prep work done for, for a few different meals. And then I just kind of focused on eventually getting the enchiladas done that we're just going to eat tonight. So I didn't really have like enchilada sauce, but I figured I'd kind of make my own bastardized enchilada sauce. We had some ingredients, some peppers and onions, and so I went ahead and roasted the peppers, sauteed onions, and lots of stuff, pureed the tomato sauce there, and went ahead and made my own kind of weird enchilada sauce. It's not weird, it's just a enchilada sauce, made enchiladas, and then nursed nursed him again because it was time. He was out for like two hours while I was cooking. So now I'm in the tub relaxing and I'm really excited about it because we thought that he was going to get home later and I know I filled the tub with hopes that he would be home early and he was home early so that's good. So he's got our son. I'm soaking for a little bit and then we're going to switch and then we're going to have dinner and we're going to hang out and go to bed and today was a good day. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. I'm pretty surprised how much I got done. I know my agenda was to put siding on the studio but it's okay. I got one piece up and it's not like I realistically could have worked on it anyway because watching our son and using power tools is not a good idea to me. So I was happy with the things that I did get done and I was happy with the quality time that I had, being able to play with him and still relax. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope this video was fun for you. It was fun for me to make. And now is a really good time for filming because the colors here are just beautiful. I love summer here. It's just so great. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.